Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to um, my top 10 kits, uh, um, Airfix kits for um, building in 2025. Um, you may remember that I said that I watched a video on uh, from Pete's, Pete's Plastic Playground um, uh, that he did a that he did a top 10 of uh, kits that he wanted to build. So I've got inspiration for doing that. So here we go. Coming in at number 10, we have the um, Supermarine Spitfire Mark 5C. It's a small kit. It's a starter set. Um, code number is uh, A55001. It's a skill level... I mean, yeah, skill level one. As I say, it's a starter kit. You've got your paints, your brush, and your poly cement as well. And on the back, you've got your um, colour scheme and decal, uh, decal scheme as well. Okay. Okay, at number nine, we have the um, RAF Red Arrows Hawk. Uh, once again, this is a starter set. It's a skill level one, so it's quite an easy kit uh, to build. And so, once again, you got your you got your paints, your um, paintbrush, and poly cement as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, code number for this is A five five zero zero two. And on the back, you've got your um. um Color, um, color scheme and decal scheme okay coming in at number eight so we have the uh, Boeing Chinook HC1 uh, code number is A06023 it is a got lovely artwork there by the way so um the Chinook was used in uh, the Falklands, and um, these have been known to go and fly over London as well. Because I've, I've I've seen them in in the in action over over London as well, while I'm out uh, doing my job uh, as well. So it, so you know there's something big going on in London if you hear the sound of one of these going over uh, going uh, over your head. All right, so. You got two color schemes here. Um, one for um, so one for Bravo November Number Eighteen Squadron Royal Air Force Operation Corporate, which is um, the Falkland Islands in the South Atlantic in May nineteen eighty two, and also for a uh, color scheme for Operation Grand being the uh, in. Desert Storm, uh, up, uh, on, up, uh, on desert uh, for Desert Storm in the Gulf War of nineteen ninety one. So there you go, there you go. It's a skill level three, <coughs> two flying hours included, um, as well. And you've also got your paints here and so on and so forth. Right, okay. At number seven, we have our one and only uh, vehicle in 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 the top ten, uh, which is um, the one seventy two scale Willys MB Jeep. Um, code number is A zero two three three nine. It's not a bad little kit. It's a skill level one. Um, it's not a gift or a starter set, so. Um, <laughs> So, so I do have all the paints uh, in at home. In my, I do have my paints uh, stashed away somewhere. You got two versions of it. You got the um, you got the normal Jeep here. You've also, if you're doing the British, um, you can do the British uh, version as well. But which is, I think. Um, no, this is a, um, yeah. You got you got two versions here. You got the normal normal one, which comes with attached with the trailer, 
uh, gun carriage as well this is uh, the first uh, scheme is uh, for the 6th Airborne Division <coughs> in Normandy, June 1944. Um, and also the second version is for the uh, division, Divisional Headquarters of the 4th Division, US Army, Belgium, 1944 uh, and Normandy, June 1944. Okay, so there we go. That's the Willys MBG. Coming in at number six, we have the North American Mitchell Mark II. Uh, I do apologise for the um, stickers being all over the artwork, but uh, but there you go. Um, so the uh, so this is the North American Mitchell Mark II. I can't give you the uh, coat. Oh, yeah. <coughs> okay, excuse me. We've got a zero six zero one eight. There's the code number, there you go. Right. Got all the usual warnings and you've got all, all the warnings on all the kits as well. Here you get a better version of the um, artwork of the artwork and you're on the side of the box there. So there you go, that's what the artwork lo looks like. And skill level three. You got all your paints there, you got your two colour schemes uh, as well. Um, one for number 180 Squadron Royal Air Force at, um, at Dunsfold in Surrey 1943 and one for number 305 Polish Squadron <laughs> Royal, yeah sorry but excuse me. sorry about that uh, my brother was having a coughing fit um, we've uh, both gone down with a sort of a a tickly cough okay so uh anyway so anyway you got number so the second one here is of number 305 uh, squadron royal air force uh lasham in hampshire in september october 1943 <coughs> okay so that is um the north american that is the north american mitchell <coughs> Alright, coming into the uh, top five now, we've got. <coughs> coming into the top five now, we've got the De Havilland Mosquito PR16. Um, you may remember about a year or two ago, I actually built the uh, bomber version of this um, kit, and um, and so the model number is A zero four zero six five. And once you get got, got all your warnings there, you've got two colour schemes. One is of number 60 uh, squadron of the South African Air Force. Um, San Severa province of uh, Foggia in Italy, January 1945. And the second one is of uh, the three six hundred thirty six hundred thirty fifth uh, bomb squadron twenty fifth bomb group three hundred twenty fifth photographic wing of the United States Army Air Force. Why do they have to? Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, I don't know why they've got to um, have so many groups and all that um, and so on but this was based at Royal Air Force Watton in Norfolk uh, in September 1944 skill level 2 so it's just a notch up from uh, skill level 1 and that is pretty much it there I like the artwork again so the, the artwork on these uh, box art on these kits are so Brilliant. It's just brilliant, isn't it? Uh, yeah. So anyway, that's the uh, PR Mark 16 of the De Havilland Mosquito. At number four, we have the um, uh, De Havilland uh, Vampire T11, and um, code number for the for this one is 
A five five two O four A. I think I can't, if I can read that right. Yeah, that's right. Um, so yeah, you got the artwork here. Artwork here. It's a gift set like like the uh, some of the others that I've all, already shown you. Okay, it's a gift set. You got your paints. Um, six acrylic paints. <laughs> Got two paintbrushes and poly cements in this one, so skill level one. And got all your warnings here as well, and on this side as uh, on on here as well. And this is the color scheme. This is, this particular aircraft uh, belonged to Number Fourteen Squadron Royal New Zealand Air Force. Um, and it's got all the pit paints listed here uh, as well. So that is the De Havilland Vampire T11. Coming in at number three, we have the Consolidated B24 Liberator. Uh, this code for this one is A09010. Again, lovely artwork and really really uh like really like this as well you've got your warnings on the side again if i just turn the box over so you've also got your artwork on the side here as well and just to show you it's on both sides of the box as well uh, both ends of the box you've got your two color schemes one is uh uh, four two dash five two two three four. Um, I think that must be the serial number. Um, Corky Burgundy Bombers, uh, seven hundred thirty third Bomb Squadron, four hundred thirty four hundred fifty third Bomb Group, Eighth Air Force, United States Army Air Force, RAF Old Buckingham in uh, in Norfolk, England, nineteen forty four. And the second colour scheme is of um, is four two dash five two two sorry four two dash five two six nine nine Valiant Lady eight eight hundred thirty first Bomb Squadron four hundred eighty fifth Bomb Group fifteenth Air Force United States Army Air Force uh, Venosa in Italy nineteen forty four so there you go. You got your paints included, skill level three, and you get three, three, and you get three flying arrows as well. Okay, so that's the consolidated B twenty four Liberator. All right, we're into the top two now, and I have to say it was a close call. It, it, it was a really, um, <coughs> excuse me, it was a tough decision to actually um, to um, put these uh, two where. Well, where I've put them. Um, so at number two, I've I've decided to go and put this one, the Lancaster Mark III, and um, as I say, it was a tough decision between this and the aircraft that I've uh, put in put uh, put in at number one. Um, you may remember that's um I think last year I think um I built the Dan Busters uh, version of the of this one. Um you got your two colour schemes there. The code number for, for this one is is A zero eight zero one three A. Nice bit of artwork again, you've got your two colour schemes there. And you got them again on the side there as well. If I turn it over, you got got them again on this side. Uh, the top one is S for Sugar, number four six seven Squadron, Royal Australian Air Force, um, RAF Waddington in Lincolnshire, in nineteen forty four. And the second uh, colour scheme is of number fifty seven Squadron. Uh, Royal Air Force East Kirby, also in Lincolnshire, 
in uh, in July 1944. <coughs> it's a skill level three. Got three flying out. I'm I'm gonna start collecting. I'm gonna start collecting these anyway. So, um, so there you go. <sighs> Three flying hours, okay, and you've also got your history of the aircraft there as well, and and so that is set number two, the uh, um, Avro Lancaster Mark Three, okay, okay. So the aircraft uh, that I've decided to go and put put in at number one, and is probably going to be the kit, that, so, and it's going to be the kit that I'm going to build after the C forty seven. And it is going to be the Armstrong Whitworth Whitley Mark V. Okay, so um, lovely artwork. Code number is A08016. And got all your warnings there again. Artwork on the side as well. And you've got... Um, Two colour schemes, okay. Uh, first one is of um, <clears throat> aircraft flown by Squadron Leader John Charles MacDonald, number 102 Squadron, number 4 Group Bomber Command, uh, Royal Air Force Driffield in Yorkshire, <coughs> in March 1940. And the, the second one is of number 10 squadron, number four group, Bomber Command, Royal Air Force, Leeming, Yorkshire, um, uh, in December 1941. And I really like this aircraft, okay, and um, I, I've not done an early, um, I've not, not really done an early war bomber before, so... So anyway, you've got your three flying hours, you've got um you've got two you've got all your humble paints there as well and that really is it. Okay. So there you go, that's my number one kit. Alright. Well guys, uh that's it sir for this uh video. Um hope you've enjoyed watching it. Uh yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching it. And um, if you've liked the video, give it a thumbs up, why don't you? And um, hit that subscribe button as well. Uh, because it's uh, free to do so and it helps to grow the channel. Uh, also, comment and also hit that share button as well. Because that would be uh, great if you could do that. Alright, so in the meantime guys, the next uh, video, video... Get my words out. The next uh, video will be the unboxing of the C-47 Skytrain from Miss Hilary. So um, do join me for that. Okay, and I will see you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye for now.